Well, it was the fourth big upset of the weekend, Wallsy. It wasn't a great win by the Blues, and I'm sure their coach, Brett Ratton, will be very thrilled with that. Well, he should be. Uh, just a wonderful performance by Carlton. In fact, I think they won every quarter. Yeah, let's get down to Mark Howard, who's with the winning coach. Very, very happy scenes down here, coach. There's a lot of talk early in the season about how you're going to play, replace Brendan Favoli. You've had some live wire forwards up there today. Jeffy Gard, exceptionally, mate. He was so quick up there. Yeah, it was good. I, we just thought uh, if we could get the ball in really quickly uh, against the Geelong backs, we, we'd have a real opportunity. And with Jeff and uh, Eddie Betts and Chris Yaron at the, uh, the foot of uh, Satana O'Helpen and uh, Henderson, it uh, was a recipe that we could be you know, creative down there, and it really worked for us. Brett Anthony Hudson and uh, Wolsey upstairs. Uh, congratulations on the win. You had a, a really good win against Adelaide last week, but then you went down the highway, I think, and watched Geelong absolutely smash Port Adelaide. How did that make you feel, and how did you then work out a way how you thought you could take them on? Um, I thought we had to get our hands on the footy. I think uh, Geelong sort of have around uh, 435 possessions a game, so we had to get our hands on the football, and I think stoppages or, you know, uh, that loose ball gets, we could sort of get the ball back. And I think, you know, we were sort of hoping that uh, maybe they were overconfident because the way they played last week was, uh, you know, it was very exciting to watch for a Geelong fan. But, you know, we thought last year's performance, and if we could put some real heat on the footy um, or the, uh, the man, we could get the ball back, and uh, I thought our boys did a great job today. Well done, Brett, and, uh, and your back line I thought was superb. Uh, Andrew Walker, he ran off uh, Tommy Hawkins time and time again. He got injured just before three-quarter time. How bad is he? Uh, not sure. He's gone, to, uh, he's gone to get that checked out at uh, hospital, so we'll wait and see on, uh, on the result of that. But, uh, yeah, no idea at the moment. Well, if he doesn't play next week, how close uh, is Jared Waite to coming back into the team? Yeah, uh, Waitey played really well uh, yesterday, and uh, Paul Bauer will play next week, so uh, that's a big plus for us as well. You must have been delighted right across the board. Uh, Gibbs's game across half-back was outstanding. Yeah, it was. I think uh, a couple of weeks ago against Essendon, we sort of had two players that maybe uh, won their position. It was uh, debatable, but um, I thought last week and this week we had a team team performance that you're really proud of, and uh, across the board, I think, uh, to a man, we, they did their job today. We'll let you go. Thanks very much for your time. Congratulations again. It really sets you up for the season. Thanks, fellas. Take care.